Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Learn Satisfactory video. And today we're going to be talking about power, how to be efficient with your power, everything about power. Now the first thing I want to say is you want to come over to your hub terminal and make sure that you unlock the, over in tier 2, you unlock the obstacle clearing milestone so that you can unlock the chainsaw and solid biofuel that's going to be your most important step in your first steps to providing power to your factory Now as soon as you unlock your chainsaw or obstacle removing milestone so that you can make solid biofuel, you're going to want to come over to the closest location to where you have a ginormous cluster of biological mass. So like leaves, trees, flowers, anything of the sorts. And then you're just going to want to make sure the most efficient way to do this is going to surround yourself with leaves or bushes, you know, whatever. And then with the chainsaw, you just saw one thing down, and as long as you have room in your inventory, it'll just destroy everything within a close vicinity. So staying within a close vicinity of a bunch of bushes is going to make it much more efficient. Whereas if I were to just go over right here and just get a few bushes at a time, it'll collect less. And once your inventory is full, you'll notice because it'll only pick up one item at a time when you're using the chainsaw. See how it only grabbed that one leaf? So once your inventory is full, head back to base and turn it all into solid biofuel after turning it into biomass. And I'll show you that in just a sec. Alright, so once you have your, your leaves and wood, you can come here and turn your biomass from, uh, you can turn your wood into biomass from wood, and you can turn your leaves into biomass from leaves, and then once you have some of that, you can turn it into solid biofuel. Now, the differences between leaves, biomass, and biofuel is how quick it burns. So if we come into here, check out our biomass burner. Now, if you can see how fast this is going right now, it's going, it's going pretty slow. But it's also based off of how much power you're consuming. So, see how it kind of sped up just now? Now it's slowed down. It, it does that because uh, some of my, my items are backed up, so like my miner isn't constantly producing. So when that kicks in, the power consumption boosts up. And when it kicks off, it comes down. So, that makes the biofuel burn at a varying rate and the power consumption vary as well. So if we were to put leaves in here, you'll notice once this last uh, piece of solid biofuel gets consumed. Now you'll see it's going crazy fast and this little tick here will show you your consumption rate. So this, this is updated to 0.8 seconds. So every 0.8 seconds I'm consuming one piece of fuel. Now if we replace that with biomass, it'll change to 9 seconds. So every 9 seconds I'm consuming one piece of biomass. And then if I put solid biofuel back in here, you'll see it bumps up to 22.5 seconds. And this here is my average uh, excuse me, that's your power production for this current machine. You'll see on this graph here that the power consumption is in orange, and if you highlight over it, it'll only show you that. Your power production is in gray, so consumption is how much your factory is using, production is how much your power generators are producing, and capacity is the limit of your currently connected or powered up power generators. So since we're using the two basic power generators, biomass burners, that come with the hub, they only produce 20 megawatts each, whereas if you were to build separate biomass burners, these produce, here, let's put some power in here, these produce 30 
I don't know why it's not popping up here. These produce 30 megawatts each, whereas the other ones only produce 20 each. Something nice about the power generators in Satisfactory, such as the biomass burners, is that your power consumption and production will always match. So you are not constantly producing 40 megawatts. Your biomass burners automatically downscale to whatever your consumption is so that it's not burning extra fuel. Now, once you've got your biomass figured out, you are gonna wanna start managing your power. Now, as you can see, I'm kinda, you know, I got a bit of a spider web going on here. I've got, you know, these two biomass burners connected to this pole, and I've got this pole going out to two different poles, and then I've got this pole going out to two, three, all kinds of, it's all kinds of whack. Now, the main ordeal that you're gonna wanna focus on is having a main power line. So, if we did this, if we fix this up and make a main power line, It would look kind of something like this. So we have two biomass burners connected to one pole, and the other two biomass burners connected to another pole, and then this turns into our main pole. So this pole is receiving all of our power, and we only have it outputting to one other pole. So then from this pole, we would connect it to this one, and this one, and this one, and then that would be where it would spread out to the rest of our factory. So if we ever did have a shutdown and we wanted to disconnect our power from our factory, we would only have to cut one power line and it would be this one. Because this is going to be this pole receiving all of our power and distributing it to just one other pole, which then distributes it out to the rest of the factory. Now having this main power line may seem kind of pointless for right now, but it'll be a good habit to have if you make a main power line throughout the rest of your game especially when you get into building bigger factories and having multiple different types of power production. So you may be wondering what other types of power generation you will be unlocking in Satisfactory, and thank God it will not only be leaves because that would suck a lot, but you will unlock coal generators, which you can combine coal and water together to get power production. And then after that, you will get a fuel generator, which you will need oil for, and after that, you will unlock a nuclear power plant, and that is end game, complete end game power production there. And at any point in between that, you can unlock something called a geothermal generator in the MAM, which we have not yet covered in my Let's Learn Satisfactory series, but we will be covering research very soon. If you're looking for other useful tips and tricks in Satisfactory, feel free to check out my Satisfactory How To playlist. And over there I teach about all kinds of different stuff about Satisfactory. Also feel free to leave a comment asking any type of question you might have. I will gladly answer it as soon as possible. But other than that, I will be seeing all y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace!